Hey guys, Jeff here from Shotgun Nation. Thanks so much for coming back down to the channel. Uh, today we're partially setting up the new range. We've got some MGM targets out here. You've seen those in the past in my video. I thought I'd give them another shout out. And we'll talk a little bit more about these here in just a second. Uh, but in this video, we're going to be checking out a company called Short Lane. They make gun adapters. Uh, this is a 12 gauge to 9 millimeter. This is about 8 inches long. Um, it's fully rifled, so I wouldn't expect to lose any velocity or accuracy out of a 9 millimeter. Uh, but they do make two other versions. These are shorter versions. This one has rifling, and this one is just smooth. So really, they've got a lot of different options. I didn't know what to expect out of each of them. So I bought one of each, uh, 12 gauge to 9 millimeter, all of them. I'm going to check these things out. As I mentioned, we've got the chronograph. I'm going to set up some targets, going to shoot at them. Really let you guys know what to expect out of these. Um, they sell these also in packs. They sell them individually. Um, so whatever you're looking for, they probably have them. 12 gauge to 38. 12 gauge to 9 mil, 12 gauge to 20 gauge, 410 to 22, 20 gauge to, I don't know, probably BB guns or something. No, I doubt they have that. But anyway, we're going to check these out. So go to gunadapters.com and see what else they have to offer. But like I said, we're setting up the new range today. Uh, unfortunately, about a month and a half ago, I moved from my home that had the range in the backyard. And then we dealt with the quarantine. And then we dealt with the rain. And now I think we're back into winter again for some reason. Anyway, it's kind of a nice day, kind of out today but we're going to get this done um so now we're setting up a new range i've got my mgm targets out here you go to mgmtargets.com and find these guys man these are some awesome targets they offer lifetime warranties on all the shootable parts uh they got auto poppers they got ones like this one that you put on a t-post so you go out drive your t-post in the ground this one attaches to the top of it um they've got all different sizes for all different calibers whatever you need you're really going to be happy with the product that you get from them And that's it guys it's a super simple setup almost everything at mgmtargets.com breaks down really easy for transportation but it's also robust enough to leave out 24 7 uh four seasons um just really good high quality products so that's the setup for this one i've also got my auto popper out here it automatically resets the setup for that's even easier you just throw it on the ground and it's done so uh, let's step back and let's talk about these adapters. All right, guys, so we're going to start out here with the Pathfinder. This is the long uh, eight or nine inch version. It's fully rifled. Um, fits right down into your shotgun. A little press. It says to use a little bit of oil on those O-rings. Um, but it's a really good snug fit. Um, as you can see, nine millimeter Luger fits right into it. So I've got the chronograph set up. We are going to see exactly how many FPS um, comes out of this 9mm bullet. Alright, that says 1,278 feet per second. Let's switch over to the smaller adapter and see what we get out of that. Okay, next up we have the zombie version. See 12 gauge to 9mm zombie. Sorry about the focus there, guys. So this is a much shorter adapter, however, this one is still fully rifled. So let's load this one up, and let's see how many feet per second we get out of this one. All right, that one says 1,038 feet per second. So we lost just a little bit of velocity there. Of course, that's to be expected with a little bit of a shorter barrel. All right, this last one's completely smooth bore. Uh, I don't really think it has any sign signifier like that first one was Pathfinder, the second one was Zombie. Uh, I don't see any signifier on here, uh, but let's check out the velocity, uh, see how many feet per second we get using this one. Uh, again, this one has no rifling uh, whatsoever. So the Zombie has rifling, the Pathfinder has rifling. This one does not. Nine hundred and seventy seven feet per second. Let's shoot one more of those and see if it stays the same. Nine hundred and seventy one. All right, guys. So when I used the Pathfinder, the longer rifled version, I was getting about twelve hundred to thirteen hundred feet per second. Uh, when I moved down to the shorter rifled version, the zombie version, I'm getting about a thousand feet per second. So you are seeing a drop in velocity. Of course, that's due to the length of the uh, the barrel here. Um, you're not getting as much. Uh, pressure built up before it escapes the barrel in this one as you would with this one um, but i did want to note that the smooth bore also had a reduction in velocity from the zombie 
Um, it was shooting around 900 feet per second. So not much of a drop off, um, but in my opinion, I would prefer the rifling for the accuracy um, as opposed to the exact same thing essentially uh, with, with no, no rifling. But now let's move on to accuracy. As you can see from some of those shots, I wasn't really hitting the target. Um, that Burris, I didn't even sight that thing in. I took that off my AR and stuck it on my shotgun. So for the Pathfinder, I was consistently hitting the target. Looks like I was aiming a little, a little to the left. Um, however, I was not hitting targets with the zombie or the other smooth bore. So we're going to get that sighted in and we're actually going to see if we can hit targets with all three of these. All right, so using the Pathfinder adapter zeroing in was pretty easy. Uh, just a couple of small adjustments and the uh, Fast Fire 3 is on point. Seems to be holding its zero also. So let's give you guys a few shots here and let you see what it's about. So as you can see, we're hitting targets pretty consistently. So let's switch over to the uh, shorter zombie version and see if we're still on target. Again, this one is rifled. It's about half the length of the other adapter though. So let's see how accurate that shoots. Right on target. Let's see if I can do it again. I'll say I was hitting just right around the target. So we're not losing a whole lot of accuracy. However, Depending on your situation, that may mean the world to you. So in my opinion, that Pathfinder is the way to go. But just because I told you we'll check them all out, now we're going to move on to the one here that is smoothbore. There's no rifling inside this whatsoever. Uh, let's see if we can hit that target at all from this distance. All right, well, I think that one went kind of high. We're going to adjust our aim a little bit. Well, there's one right there. I was definitely aiming center mass when we hit it. So let's see if we can get some consistency out of it. All right, I didn't see where that one went, so we're gonna try it. All right, guys, well, I find these adapters pretty freaking exciting. Uh, that's It's pretty neat to be able to shoot a 9mm out of your 12 gauge, especially at this distance with that much accuracy. Um, the zombies are a little less accurate, obviously, from the videos, but not right out at all. And then the uh, adapter without rifling whatsoever, um, I'd recommend staying pretty close, probably within, within 20 yards to shoot uh, that adapter. Um, I'm interested in backing up a little further with the Pathfinder and seeing uh, how far back I can push this thing um, until we're not hitting the target. So I'll leave you with that. Enjoy the footage. We'll see you next time. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. So Backed up to about 50 yards here. Um, I hit just above the target. I did hit the target because it moved around, but shot just a little high. I aimed a little high, thinking I'd probably need to. Um, I've only got two bullets left, so we're gonna go ahead and back up since I know I'm hitting accurately and uh, see how much further we can go. All right, here so, we go again, a little further. Awesome. I'm holding at center mass, guys. So about 60 yards right now, maybe a little further, and we're not really losing any accuracy. So this Pathfinder thing is uh, this Pathfinder adapter is pretty awesome. All right, got one more bullet. Let's back up a little further. See if I can hit it. <laughs> All right, well, 
There's no way I'm going to hit it. But just in case, let's see if we can hit it. Guys, I wish I could back up a little further, but I'm literally out of nine mil now, and I'm hitting targets, dudes. This thing is awesome. That's the uh, Pathfinder 12 gauge to nine millimeter. Extremely, extremely cool product. So thanks Short Lane, thanks Burst Optics, thanks MGM. You guys have a good day.